Hi there friends and welcome back to episode 6 of my Lone Wolf gameplay series. I'm Icon and well, we're not that much of a lone wolf anymore, we're more like a wolf pack now. And we are skimming through the second half of the summer today. We did bring up a nice foundation for our settlement. I feel like we could use a little bit more agriculture though. So we're going to expand our carrots today a little bit. <laughs> Sassy little autosave. So since we can't grow on these uh, thingies, we're going to avoid that for now. And let's expand the cabbages as well a little bit. I just want to make sure that we have enough food now that rain is with us, I feel like we need a little bit more food than before. So... Let's grow some beets as well. Okay. I think that should be... That should be okay. I really want to stockpile while it's summer. And we're also going to finish the flooring of our cellar room today I think yeah I'm pretty positive about that where all the good things are stored now so let's see these are de decomposing but these are basically not or do they well it's still rather warm inside there But I'm pretty sure as soon as fall has been reached, we will have no more problems with that. Okay, at the same time, Rain is finally researching for us. That's really good. Because I also want to learn today to use more advanced building materials. Also, we're going to craft ourselves some valuable bows. But with the bows, I want to wait until the flooring here has been completed, because I feel like that's the most important thing to manage right now. There we go. So we got that settled, uh, sorted out, and let's control that up to 30, because 30 is exactly the amount of books we will need to learn the next research level but that's going to be a another another day's story so we can learn brewing here well since we are har uh, planting barley i think that's a wise choice okay it's going to be ready in two days so how about us building a little bit of a brewery here Oh my god, I'm, I'm mining stone always back there, while the stone is this close to me. The silliness. Alright. Whatever. It's not that important after all. Okay, now I wanted to have some clay building, so let's check what we can do about that. Also harvest all these crops and put them to storage. Ooh, look at that. There's a lot of tasty shrubs over here too. I hope we have enough uh, time left or we can store that stuff long enough to make it work here. And let's see. Rocky soil yields limestone and clay. Let's see, where can we get clay from in larger amounts? Salt deposit. Yeah, sure. Limestone and clay. There's just clay here. Or is clay a typical site product which you really can't acquire directly? And it's like twigs where we can use it you have leftovers. It looks like that a little bit. Well. 
I'd say we're, we're going to mine away this thing here. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's more like digging away a mound of dirt. So how much clay do we have here? Okay. I want to build a little bit of a clay shack. Also, I want to try and experiment around with that material. And that clay shack will be our brewery. Because I know already that clay is a very good insulator, so... I don't know if it's going to be like in RimWorld here, where we have to keep the brewery warm and such, or cold, or both. And we're going to find out. Okay. So what kind of roofing do we do here? Limestone. Can do thatched, wicker, wooden, or limestone. So the best thermal insulation comes from the flammable roof sorts. Well, I'm pretty sure that fires will be a a thing in the future of the game too. Can't imagine that you are programming a game like this and leave out the possibilities of fire. Because fire was one of the biggest problems in the medieval times. Right now we don't even have uh, a, a water micromanagement part in the game, so... I kind of like expect that in the future. Okay, neat. What's Forthward doing actually right now? Ah, he's cooking for the settlement. I see. Okay, if I remember correctly, I assigned Forthred to be the most important uh, hauler right now. Okay, we got new research available. Well, let's see, clay brick making. Clay bricks and coal. Stone block cutting. Ooh, limestone bricks and smelting. We can create iron and gold ingots out of that. Ah, uh, very, very interesting options available here for the next couple of uh, days. Just hope that we're going to survive the next winter. I'm a little bit nervous about that because I managed to survive a winter alone, but I have no clue how the winter together will be. And it's the first time for me playing this game in a longer time, for a longer period of time. So I'm just waiting for a big mistake from my side, but well, maybe I am just uh, working out fine. Maybe. I highly doubt it. All right. So... These rooms are all a little bit spartanic. I want to change that. So what did we learn? Ah oh, yeah, the brewing station, exactly. I'm going to put that one into this room here. And I want to have limestone flooring in here. So I don't have wood left, hmm, too bad. So I don't have anybody busy on the growing and harvesting jobs, so I'm going to assign rain on these jobs again instead of writing all day. As tempted as I am to have a researcher working all day long, we can't really afford that as of yet. We need to have somebody harvesting all these things. In the winter, we can think about these uh, jobs more, I think. We're going to need a lot of braziers for the winter time too, to keep the other rooms warm. Can't wait for our first home brewing beer though. It's going to be really cool. All right. 
I do like how the uh, stone floor looks like though. This is really looking neat. So here we go. Rough wine. Oh, we can create wine out of red currant. Mmm, good to know. Barley and herbs. So beer is made out of herbs. Okay, let's do this. Maybe this will be the kitchen. Maybe we'll just go for a kitchen here. Sounds like a decent idea to me. So where's Rain busy right now? Okay. Come on guys, just haul a little bit of the stuff you're carrying. Oh, you're, you're gathering. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, nice. Just don't know why they prefer to eat in the warehouse instead of taking their meals to their tables and uh, and enjoy their meal there. I really don't have a clue why they uh, go like that. Cannot prioritize passive production. Ah, they you start it and then these have a heat output. Interesting. So, under the roof, what does that mean? Equipped with a copper cauldron for brewing ale. Most fascinating because I only invested, uh, invested wood while building that. Kudos to you guys, creating a copper uh, cauldron out of wood. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. We need more stockpiles, though. I don't feel like we're ready for winter right like this. So. Ooh, the barley will be ready soon. So. Do I want to have ale or beer? I think I'm going to start out with ale. Because we don't have the extremely high amounts of materials. With herbs, I mean. Because I think herbs are supposed to be healing materials as well. Hard to tell though. But I'm growing a few myself. If I remember correctly, yeah, here. So we have our first wine soon. Oh, I found my first iron deposit. Mmm, neat. Iron is a little bit hidden as far as I've seen. And it's the first iron deposit I found. Hey, look at that. There's clay. Ha ha. Let's dig out a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a of a pit there. I really do like how mining works in this game because it's basically land shaping and making the environment look really really differently. I like it because that's how human that's how humans work, you know. We are really, really changing our environments massively. We always had, and this game emphasizes that a lot better than RimWorld ever did. Really like that one. The height layers here are really doing a great job. I wonder what uh, what we can do with the salt there. And I also wonder how the heck you are supposed to find iron deposits 
if you're not just lucky like I am here. Iron nuggets. Look at that. This looks like there's a red splotch be below that one too. Let's check that out. If I'm right about that. Okay. We got ourselves some alcohol. Hooray! Alcohol! And now we're creating ourselves new alcohol with barley. Okay, so the agricultural part of this game is already a lot of fun. Okay, and now it's waiting for a worker. So let's start that production. Or is ale being produced differently? She's really, really tired. But I want to know now how this works. So it's quite interesting. This room has a uh, higher temperature now than the outside temperatures. Clay buildings insulate better than other buildings. So we can see here now. The uh, torches are actually doing something for the temperature. I mean, I'm not too surprised about that, but it's uh, still things I am checking out for now. There's a bunny which we want to hunt. The deers would be really cool to hunt, be hunted too, but they are so hard to hunt. I don't want to do this as an automated hunting job. Doesn't feel too smart, honestly. Okay, we're fermenting it. Awesome. Okay, if I only knew that brewing was so easy to pull off, I would have already done that earlier. But the more you know. So we're now, what's that, decorative structures. Cool. Oh, you can do something out of bones here. Deer head decoration. Mm -hmm. Okay, decorations are cool. So, actual cooking. Lavish meal. Well, well. Or do we go for smelting first? That's a difficult decision here. Defensive structures. So... Catherine. Animal handling. Animal handling? Hmm. So there are animals which can be handled. Yeah, hop on in. I know that we have not enough beds, but that's something we can change rather quickly. So, let's... Chop a tree. Or two. See what Catherine can do. She's a very talented uh, botanist. And she's a talented smith! Look at that. Useful. Really, really useful. But she doesn't come with any weapons on her own. So where does Catherine reside? She, since she's the smith, we might as well give her a bed here. I like the idea of that. Honestly. Okay. Then. Alright, Tia Thick is already doing that. Awesome. Now. Was this already started? Not really. 
But beyond that, I want more people busy on the whole. Okay, now we got a new bedroom for us. So production-wise, what did I research now? Nothing. So, well... What does smelting bring? Blacksmithing? Mechanical components. And steel. Axes, maces, swords. Well, nothing too unexpected here. So, well... Let's start out with smelting, because I'm very, very curious about the art of smelting. So, we're going to put down a smelting furnace, just like that. Well, as soon as I have the necessary materials, I'd say. Okay, cool stuff. Um, who was my best person for carpentry? Rain, okay. There we go. I want that bow done as quick as possible. Oh, and I need to check out her gear. So, that's a good short bow. Wonderful. Catherine's marksmanship is not the best, but it's also not the worst. Gear-wise, she came with winter clothing, so we'll have to change that as well. Got it. Alright, Teothic is, meanwhile, busy harvesting the clay. It's pretty good, because that means we are now able to drop down a smelting furnace. Wonderful. I'd say behind the house. Alright, nice. Really enjoy this game a lot by now. Pretty surprised that this is still the very earliest uh, early access version because this is already pretty good. It's very uh, entertaining and, well, it's maybe a little bit too easy as of yet. That's the only thing that I really could say I am not too happy about, but I made the experience that early access versions tend to be like that. A lot of early access games that I played had a bias towards being too easy or too hard, but I, uh, most of the time it was uh, it was more a bias towards too easy, actually, which is okay. I mean, we're we're just trying to find out how the game works, and therefore, I think it's quite cool if it's not too hard on you. Okay. There we go. So we'll need iron nuggets and fuel. So, fuel. Ah. You know what? Give me all the sticks now. Now I realize that I can't have enough of those. What's Tio constructing here? Ah. The torch. The torch. Okay, let's see if there's uh So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can you can see it here below the the limestone deposit already, the the reddish hue of the iron. Here maybe it wasn't that visible at the beginning, but this means that Ah, here, here, here. I'm pretty sure that this is uh Ah, you can actually see it already. At least uh, the cursor does see it. There's iron here. Okay.
Now then. We're digging out all the, the clay we could ever want. That's good. So clay brick making is the next technology that I want to have. There's a lot of coal just beneath my feet. And I'm wondering how I could pick it up. I'm just wondering how I could pick it up. So also rain, could you just start producing here a little bit? That would be awesome. I'd really love if we had a short bow for everybody. Or well. Yeah, for everybody. Forthred can swap to a melee weapon when we are being attacked by raiders. So Rain is hungry. Okay. Let's equip that. I'm pretty sure I'm, I ran out of wood again. Just as usual. Okay. We acquired quite a few lumps of uh, of clay here now. Nice. And we are producing more and more ale. It's also pretty cool. So probably this room is a little bit too small. Mindless assassins. Oh dear. We're being attacked. Six enemies! Oh boy. Good thing that I... Uh, that I brought up these weapons. Yeah, well. Let's see, where's my spear? Well, I did have a spear here, sturdy wooden spear. I'd imagine that these are better than your average dagger. Although the dagger is an iron weapon, so probably I'm wrong. Six enemies. Good lord. I didn't expect it to be that many. When we get attacked, I mean. But let's go for a preemptive attack. We can't fall back afterwards anyways. Okay, never mind, never mind. We're going to let them come. So I can't really see anything about our enemies except for their names. But I do see what they're up to. And they are running through our defenses like that. Well, come on. You guys, can't you please take down these guys? Richard. Urgh. So, please. Rain, what's wrong with you? Why are you not blocking that? Okay. This is not looking good. Not at all. My archers need to fall back. I feel like Rain needs to block this position there. Oh, we look so, this looks so doomed to me. Not gonna lie. So it looks like Rain is winning that one, but... What about this situation here? Fourth Red is definitely not in, this, uh, in a shape to continue this fight anymore. Tiathic is unconscious. 
Catherine is dead. Not cool. So... <sighs> the raiders are leaving now? Okay, so... So can fourth return to himself actually? I got no clue. Dude, tend to your friends. There's no use in fighting like that. So it seems to me like it was never a uh, a goal to to fight off all enemies like that so let's see everybody's unconscious did we die now or does Teothic uh, get up at some point again all right so fourth red is getting up here again so possibly he's going to be able to tend to to uh, each other here so let's see rain is not in a good shape either so everybody's wounds needs tending but well Let's just say we quit to main menu and we load a moment before that attack happened. I learned a lot about raids in this one because I really had no clue about the fact that these guys will retreat at some point and I guess what I should have done differently there is quite clear. I should have... Uh, I should have fought that completely differently. So if we get attacked in the next episode again, I will know what I'll have to do. So, well, okay, that's how it works. I guess you guys probably knew that or you were just as surprised as me. Whatever, whatever might be the case, we're going to end this episode here and next time I'll do better. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was really, really scary, don't you agree? And next episode, we will do better when we get attacked next time. I will just keep somebody back to, to save people. I have already ideas. So feel free to drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up for that video if you liked what you saw. And also feel free to check out my channel where I do daily content. And if you just turn on those subscriptions and the notifications, you won't miss anything in the future. Also in the video description down there, you'll find my Twitch channel where I do daily streams. So if you want to get in touch, I'd be more than happy. Also consider checking out the financial support links down there. If you would want to give me a helping hand, I'd be more than grateful for that. Other than that, let me say once more, thank you so much for your time watching these videos. You're awesome for that. See you soon and goodbye. Hopefully I won't die next time like that again. <laughs>